Hello everyone and welcome back to the Burgundians campaign in a Total Total War. My name is Ben Pope. It's been a couple of days, right? But we are back. Our um, small force in Duna is waiting for the actual gem, de gem deposit to uh, develop and finish building, which will make us more money. Uh, winter is upon us. We can't really do much as far as going out of our cities. Um, I think the main thing I'm going to focus on today is uh, take this force, Screams of the Wind, uh, led by Gundomar, who is actually the faction heir. Right there, there he is. So it's good for him to get points. Uh, we're going to take them and let's make these guys companions and stuff. Okay, they all have something. You're the king. Yeah, we just don't have enough. Our family tree is kind of small. Anyway, sidetracked there for a second. So we're going to take this force and our, uh, you know, seven unit navy here and go try uh, to colonize something in Gaul. There's a couple of, um, can't see because of the fog, but there's a couple of desolate areas. Which one is this? Solona. Salona and um, this one's probably... Aquileia, okay, so oh there might be good might be good options there. Um It's like there's more areas that we can do. Cool, alright, so uh we don't really wanna start a war with our neighbors. Uh the only uh, somewhat neutral neighbor uh, neighbor is the Venetians. Everybody else kinda likes us. Uh, I'll take that back because everybody's sort of neutral. Uh, but they're, uh, you know, they're making money off of our um, trades. So I think they'll be happy with not turning on us. Uh, I'll have to watch the Saxons uh, and most likely the Venetians since I'm not trading with them at all. The Franks love me and they're... Defensive allies, military allies altogether with the Saxons, so they might not even uh, want to break that up. Actually, I don't think I have. I just have non aggression pact. Let's see if we do. Need of talk, uh, sure. Not alliance, also defensive. Food, a warm fire, no. warm women. Join empire. Uh, wow. I didn't know I had that option. I can just make him join my en empire. Cool. Uh, might be because of the same blood. I don't think anybody else. Let's see. The Longobards should have the same have option. Talk, join empire. I'm sure. we also need oh. Um, instead of the confederation name. Was probably. It was probably changed. Okay. So that's. Gotta be the same for whoever is same Greetings. blood. And I don't think it's going to be the same for anyone who Greetings. isn't. Right. So it's instead of the Confederation. Thanks to a mod from Steam Workshop. Steam, Steam Workshop, which is made by Dresden. Dresden, who is really popular making the dipl diplomacy and um, like the, the 12 turns per year. A bunch of other stuff, uh, I'm, which I'm forgetting. And they're probably more important than these two. Because I know he's worked on a few, like, super mods, like the total conversion. Yeah. Um, so, right. Um, so, that's that's our plan. We're going to have winter be done with here in a minute. Uh, and by a minute, I mean a couple of months. <laughs> and um, then we're going to go ahead and fail the mission, apparently. We haven't constructed a religious building. Oh, well. Uh, matter of state, Concor, a mercenary commander passing through, seeks an audience. He offers us his sword and loyalty if we would be willing to pay up front. Engage in faction politics. Office secured for both our candidates. Awesome. Let's see. We can ignore him uh, if we don't. We, uh, we can negotiate. Um, yeah, I mean, we don't really need him. Right now, uh, he might get mad that we, you know, think his units are cheap and should require a discount. But, um, 
I do want to unlock this. Okay, so let's let's <clears throat> excuse me. Let's um let's go for the archery range and the siege siege all the time and whatever medium siege engines. Once we have the money for that, I think I'm gonna get it, which should be one more turn. It's still winter. Um, I'll have to build up this force. I haven't upgraded my general to from the melee infantry to the um, axe infantry because uh, these guys have less armor but they are pretty deadly all right so how are we doing over here we're still losing public over there what can we do corruption buildings uh, that's eating up the food where's the public order immigrants okay uh, taxes, religious differences, characters. We have someone here that's aloof, apparently. Sir, what is your big deal? It's just the cunning is minus. How about this? We're gonna no. campaign spawning chance, battle, personal influence. Uh, we can increase the taxes. I better give that to a governor, not a general. Oops. What did I give him? Who are you? <laughs> uh, dang it. Okay. Campaign spawning chance. Two of them, so they're the same. We're going to give him one of the barbarian maps. And we're, let's look at the governors, um, Germano Sarmatia, uh, Zoto, can possibly maybe use the research rate, and we're going to tax them more, which they won't like it, but, um, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, right, let's let's end the turn. We can't really go anywhere. Actually, we could. We could have gone. We could have gone on water uh, with our army. That doesn't that doesn't cause attrition. Oh well, next turn. We shall do it next turn. I do thank you guys for tuning in. This is by far my favorite Total War campaign right now that I have going. Um, if you've watched my other one, the Ostrogoths. That's a bit more, um, more a bit more juggling going on. A bit more, um, gotta be more cautious, um, because I'm not making as much money. Actually, lately, I've uh, with the latest conquest, I was able to increase my income quite a bit. All right, so we have a discount, twenty five percent, good, and we finished the gem deposit. Diamonds are, well, everyone's best friend, right? <laughs> so, um, really quick, we're going to look at what that does to our trade. Uh, they're going to take in gemstones 54, salt 24. We should be making a bit more, and we are uh, 1,700 there. And we need to... I said I was going to do the... Fudge. Um, I think I think I need to upgrade the torp to the village. This will give us some public order, which otherwise I don't have. Um, and that wasted our money, but what can we do? So this is a twenty-unit army. You can go aboard the howling waves. Accompanied by the screams of winds. Let's hope we don't get into a fight. And, um. Yeah. Let's gonna get that voyage going. <coughs> I think that's it. I think that's all I'm gonna do. That's all we're gonna do. So I'm curious how the 
gem deposit is going to help our income in the long run. I should probably focus on that uh, region, which if I really want to make that region strong, I have to start a war with the Venetians who own the other pieces of that land that's there. Um, we've seen the rest of the Western Romans since you just went by the Western Romans, but we haven't interacted with them. They're not gonna like us, and there's no reason why they would. We are likely to take land from them soon, so, um... Ah, I believe this is where Attila gets to show his face or something. They made ready for war. No. The world had fallen into shadow. Maybe? The earth grew cold. And the wind whispered of death. And I beheld a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of scales in his hand. Yeah. Attila was born. All knelt before him. For they knew he would devour the earth and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. Attila was born from darkness and despair. the birth of Attila and um, we have completed a bonus two bonus objectives I didn't even not I didn't even, didn't even recognize that that was gonna happen um, and next is survive until 420th right so we'll have to look at those religious requests spread your religion to the majority of this province Duna all right um, which I can't really do unless I build a, um, let's see, we might have enough, that's a seven, that's a seven. Um, do I have, I don't, I don't have any religious buildings at all. So, so, so much, so shows, what is going on? Show so much I care. Okay. Um. The Great Hall. Um, I'll have to see what I can build. Um, let's get this upgrade. And perhaps then continue that. Okay. So... Oh, why is there like when you when you anyway <sighs> where are they Huns I can trade with the Huns they have taken land in Venetia hmm interesting Too big of a force next to me. I don't like it at all. All right. Um, if you were to need units, you could maybe get mercenaries. Um, what else was I spending money on? I'm guessing something that improves... Uh, stuff and doesn't give me any public order and squalor problems, which is probably this granary or this uh, Sanitation building which is called dikes. I don't know if I want to build any dikes, but all right um, Okay, so Can we double time yes, we can Well, it's kind of cutting your uh, Travel time there, huh? Just because you have all these dudes with you. Bummer. 
it's okay. We're making progress in other fields. Um, don't like why the I don't like how the the Huns have an army <laughs> right at my doorstep. Like, does that really? Does the computer have to do that? Does it? Does he have to be like? And the Huns are here in your face. Yeah, please leave my land. Thank you. Uh, all right. So, if um, if the Huns are settled, they'll have to defend their own lands and probably not raid and pillage and uh, burn as much of the terrain as they usually do. But you never know; they might still do that. They might still go around and and uh, desolate lands left and right to their own amusement, because nobody else is gonna like. And I also don't like thyroid fever. Oh, it says typh typhoid, not thyroid. <laughs> okay, where is this? We don't know. Uh, worthy bride for Rainier. Um, we're gonna give him blessing and lose, lose some control. But I don't really... Uh, let's see, this... Okay, so I think... I think she's part of the family, he's not. So... Let's give blessing and look at it. No? What the heck? Was she here? I guess she wasn't. Mr. Rainier, uh, do show us your bride. I, I don't see what the problem is. She's fertile. Um, increases his chance of having children, which, you know, uh, this is. Anyway. Okay, that was a, a bit of a sidetrack. Um, where is the disease? For the tribe! Goodness me. Was this. The Sanitation was fine here. Like I don't know why we have a disease, but we but we have okay sanitation. Master of the terrain is complete, so we can go back to completing this uh, foreign siege methods. Um. Okay, at Duna, we're still losing public order, but we will get something here which which will help. I I think I should put the church in there. Since it's asking me to even prove that religious thing anyway. And what is... Okay, the Germanic paganism is only 25%. So that's probably a good, a good idea. Your orders? Is there nothing else? I just like how it looks. <laughs> so I went, I went and zoomed in. All right, so um, even if we don't get to capture anything in this episode, I am saving my money up for it. And as soon as I get, you know, I was hoping that that uh, the, the speed of the travel uh, will be faster than what it is. But I guess with the navy being used as transports, it slows the. Um, I, I guess it it limits the amount of space you can travel. Kind of like if um, the army was on basic transports versus being escorted by the navy. Does that make sense? Anyway, the navy normally can travel a lot more per turn. And right now they can't. Population surplus in, in my so-called area. Um, so we're going to develop the land and... Sacred ground is the is the religious thing. Okay, that's sixteen hundred. Um, which is good to have. On the other hand, I'm gonna have an issue with squalor. Hmm. I build a well. Um.
I'm just thinking for a second because if I build a well, I'll, I'll have a better time avoiding sanitation problems and diseases. I'll just have to bring a priest from somewhere else. And I, th I think that's, I think that's okay. I think I can do. Eventually, I can do a. Um, church here somewhere and then take a priest down there how's that sound sounds good all right where's my where's my ship I like the song of course the song changes once I hit the button what can you do Oh no, is that still it's still going? It's still going. Just gonna listen to it. Yeah. It's it's totally like Viking meditating at night in the cold of the wind. Looking Looking out from your outpost towards the forest. You know, when you're at the lookout. Remembering the good times and the bad. A gift of speed. A local noble seeking favor gives us a rag of fine colds. I think I've seen this before. So we don't have to. Um. Yeah, we can. Uh, let's let's start the horses. They they will yield riches, riches galore. I don't know if my mouse just froze or what, but I think it did. So one second, I'll be right back. All right back. My mouse did freeze. It was plugged into a USB 3, uh, which is fine. It should work just fine. I don't know why I did that. So I, I, I plugged it into a different port. Um, okay, so we are making money. Um, I could spend some money to, to do something with, you know, here. But um, I'm really waiting for this expedition force to reach a specific location. Zoto has a skill. He has a governor, so we're gonna give him food. Um, and we're gonna give him negative to corruption. Which will help. Can't have too much food. Like, it, yeah, it says 134 food there, but as soon as you, you know, use up a chunk of it um, somewhere and, it, and you're in negative, it will have to. Um, you have to have the extras to import there, and you know it's be it's just better to have plenty of food, especially with them saying the climate change. Well, it it, it is going to happen where the north gets the climate change, and it will make it hard to harvest. Um, and your food production will be lower overall. Uh, so then having this sort of bonus from the governors is is a must i think personally gotta be able to feed the populace all right term of office uh, we have to deal with that horsemanship um okay so i have to recruit some cav in the next three turns to get some bonuses uh, before I forget, let's put these guys back into office. He can be a judge. Uh, who is he married to? What's going on? He is... There, he is there. He can be an elder, and he can be an elder. Okay. And our army is here. I really don't want to get that land. I want something like over there. I'm a bit, I'm, a bit, I'm being greedy. <laughs> no, 
I feel like this is fine. Um, but I need. I don't know. I kind of want. I kind of want this one. Not that one. This one. Turonum. So we're on the way to Turonum. Uh, and let's go one more turn. And we're going to be out of time here for this. Afterwards, let's see what we can accomplish in one more turn. We don't want to make the episode too long. And it's getting to about where I want it. So nothing significant really happened. We did get the Huns. With, um, with one of their forces just kind of appear on our land and then they left um, and uh, the birth of Attila was announced we are trading a bunch of gems now which is helping our economy and uh, there was a disease outbreak for no reason because we have plenty of sanitation so kind of curious thing let's see political obstruction um, we will I think we should just decree. We have plenty of influence here for our faction leader. Another, um, yes, we will always also decree. Cool. Where are we? We're over here. Okay. Um, I don't think we can reach this by sea. So we'll have to worry about that next time. But I do want to be able to have a port city if I'm going to uh, land and take something. This is not a port city either. So it's not really worth taking. Uh, this is a port city. Where is it? With the picks on it. Right, we will find out. That's why we're on the expedition. Uh, which we had an expedition before and we... Um oh, goodness me. Okay, so public order is a problem still. Um, we can't get the next thing. We'll probably have to increase our um, military. So I'll have to decide on what I'm going to do there. Let's get... Um, yeah, let's spend money here. That will give us the town and the city and the... And the, <laughs> the horde wagon lager which we don't need cool okay um so a bit administrative today but things are looking okay uh the disease is not gone but it's gone okay why did we have minus one sanitation so we're gonna have to build this we have to build the dikes um which right now is needed Might not be enough, even. But There we go. Okay. I right, thank you all for watching this episode, and hopefully you enjoyed it. Please do share this out with your friends if you think they will like this playthrough and other stuff that's on my channel. Um, you can also subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. I'll hope... Hopefully, I'll see you next time. Um... Also, support me by just commenting and, and hitting the like button if you enjoyed this episode. So, I will see you soon enough. Bye!